Dear Misty, people always make fun of me because I'm gay. And I'm waiting to get married to have sex, and people make fun of me for that too. Why? Well, can I tell you a little secret? Get a little bit closer. Shh. My secret is people are going to make fun of you no matter what. They're going to make fun of you if you're tall. They're going to make fun of you if you're short. They're going to make fun of you if you're skinny. They're going to make fun of you if you're fat. If one of your earlobes is longer than the other one, they're going to make fun of you. The fact that you're gay is just a really easy target. It's like somebody being fat. Now, if you're having a battle of words, blah, 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 and somebody says a fat joke, it's like, um, seriously, you couldn't come up with anything better than that? Thanks for saying the obvious. And quite honestly, that's my attitude when people call me gay or fag or whatever, especially if I'm in drag. I've said this before, but I was in South Beach once leaving a show. I think I was uh, leaving Twist and going to Bechdel Bambi or vice versa. And it was probably a four block walk and I had to pass a couple really ghetto straight bars. And I'm six foot one, wearing seven inch heels, s huge hair, of course, and I was probably like, you know, good at least seven foot tall. And I was passing this straight bar and there was a bunch of guys out in the street, probably because they couldn't afford to get in, but they wanted to cruise all the girls coming in and going out. And of course, some guy who thought that if he made fun of me for being gay, nobody would notice he was gay. But, that's a whole nother Jerry Springer. So I'm walking down the street and he goes, Oh my God! That's a fag! That guy's a fag! And uh, granted, it could have been because I had a couple cocktails and I was feeling cute. But, I was like, all of a sudden something clicked inside of me. And I was like, you don't think I fucking know that? And I screamed really loud. I got all like, Ugh, like the He-Man came out of me. And I was like, you don't think I fucking know that? I'm a man in a dress. I think I might have got the memo. So I, I didn't charge him, but I like started coming towards him and he backed down. And he was also a big, he was actually black, but he was a big black man. And he was like, you know, with his homies or whatever. And I was, like, you're not coming for me today. But I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to put your life in jeopardy. I don't want you to, like, you know, charge anybody. But when somebody calls you gay, if you're out, and if you're comfortable being gay, why not just say, duh, <laughs> thanks for saying the obvious, you freak. And something I often say a lot, I say it a lot, a lot, a lot. Just because you make fun of somebody for being fat, it doesn't mean you're skinny. And if you're feeling brave, you can say that. Or even if you're feeling even braver, you can say, making fun of a gay person doesn't make you straight. Hello. Remember, every time you point a finger at someone else, there's four pointing right back at you. And then move about your way. It also depends on who's doing it, where you are, if you're surrounded by friends, etc. I don't want you to get too courageous and get, you know put yourself in jeopardy but it's a cop-out and bullies tend to pick the weakest person they can they try to pick on somebody that they don't think is going to come for them and the second you stand up for yourself they'll probably stop picking on you but part two saving yourself for marriage now unfortunately when I was young there was no such thing as gay marriage now, I was a good little Christian, and I was saving myself for marriage to be with a woman. And I was engaged a couple times, and had a couple girlfriends, but I never had premarital sex because I was waiting for marriage. However, there was no such thing as gay marriage. So, when am I going to wait until I'm 900 years old? Now, if you say you're saving yourself for marriage, I don't understand why anybody should laugh. Because... People do it all the time. <laughs> you know, and I believe in human rights. 
and I believe in equal rights. I believe that black people should have rights, and I believe that women should have rights. Women should vote, black people shouldn't be slaves, etc. And I feel the same thing for gay people. Gay people should have the right to marry. They should have the right to divorce. They should have the right to have kids and make the same stupid mistakes that straight people make. I do think that. So why not? There should be no reason for anyone to make fun of you for saving yourself from marriage. I think that's noble. I think that's smart. And I'm giving you mad props because I respect you for that decision. Again, it wasn't a choice for me. It wasn't an option for me. But if it was, I might be in the same boat as you. However, don't settle down and marry the first person that wants to marry you because that's not a good decision either. So wait for the perfect husband and marry. But again, the reality is it does not matter what anybody thinks of you. People are going to make fun of you all day long. Might as well be something that's obvious. Something that you already know. If they're making fun of something that you had no idea, then there might be a problem. Anyways, loving you is easy. I hope I can help.